not. I've been wanting to say that. Because it's been so cold for so long, but the cold is gone. It is now officially Texas. It is hot. We now return to the normal Texas hot, humid weather. Not so humid. It actually, outside of this car, it's not actually that bad. There's a nice breeze blowing. It would be a great day to go lay out by the pool. Whew. I've been waiting for this. I love summer. I feel so much better. Like, just feel better. Um, I guess it's just from all the, you know, all the sun. I don't like being hot. I don't like getting to the point that I'm hot and I can't cool down. But after the cold and rainy and nasty, we didn't have any snow. We just had cold here. Cold for Texas, anyway. Anyway, did my nails. They are Kiss. I was trying to remember what they were. I was going to tell y'all. But, uh, yeah, they're the Kiss nails. I do. I figured out what it is. So, I put the nails on my left hand very well. They pretty much stay on. But, I can't do my right hand as well. So when I put them on, pretty much I lost every one of them, like within a couple of hours. So I sat down, and the problem is, is I was rushing. We had an event at work last night, and Nick had a, um, a thing at school, which I'll tell you about in a second. Um, so I had a thing, I, you know, I wanted to look nice, so I went home on my lunch, and I'm literally trying to push them on really quick. And I, I would have done better if I just did it at my job, uh, at my desk. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, so I've re-glued all of them on. So, I'm hoping they last through the weekend at least. But these are really pretty. I've had these for a while. They're white and silver. And I found them, I think, at either like CVS or Walgreens on the clearance rack. So, they were like $2.50. Um, I do find um, that the Kiss Nails last a little longer for me than the Dollar Tree Nails. Even the Dollar Tree Kiss Nails, which I bought a couple of those trying to save money y'all and so many of y'all do this I'm trying trying to get there y'all um, and I just feel like it's a little healthier for my nails because I can just pop these babies right off do you know what I found that works really well with taking them off if I want to take them off and they're just like glued really well those uh, staple removers that's the long not the claws but the one that's just the long stick and it's just, it's just got just a little rounded metal end Go look at staple removers at, like, the office supply section of the store. You don't want the staple remover claws. You want the long one. And it's got a little rounded silver end, and it is perfect. You can pop it right underneath there, and they come right off. So, that's my tip to y'all. Um, but last night, yesterday, it's been such a busy week. I am, like, not even going the speed limit. I'm just enjoying not being in a rush and not being dead dog tired, y'all. Um, it's been a busy, busy week. Um, I've got some clips from Nick's band concert. He had a band concert earlier this week. And um, I got a couple clips and a couple photos of that. And then I also have his belt ceremony. I did not get to film all of his belt ceremony like I wanted. Because my phone, my battery on my phone was just not cooperating. Well, I blamed it on my phone. I think I'm pretty sure what it actually was is my um, cable I was using so I just had a cheap Dollar Tree cable y'all know I love me some Dollar Tree but I had me a, a couple cheap Dollar Tree cables I had one at my office there's smoke right here I had one at my office plugged into my computer because I can take one of my wall plug-in ones from home but the plugins are either like behind me or under my desk and it's just easier my computer my is on my desk so i can just plug into the little port plug it into my phone it'll charge not as fast as if i plugged it into the wall but it'll charge i've been doing this with the same cable for probably a month now and i was super busy yesterday and i looked at my phone and i'm like oh wow it's like 60 percent let me get it charged up to 100 percent so i can grab it because I had, like I said, I had an event at work and I wanted to be able to take some pictures and video of that and then go straight from there to Nick's belt ceremony, karate belt ceremony, he's a purple belt now, um, to uh, be able to video that and keep that for myself and share it with family and with you guys and everything. And when I came to get my phone off of uh, my computer, 
it actually had dropped. It did not charge at all. And I was so busy, I didn't have time to check in between time. It had dropped from like 62 down to 42. And I'm sitting there watching it and it's draining it. Now it's 41. Oh my gosh, I freak out. I'm like, seriously? I'm like, okay, well maybe I can charge it in the car. I'm on my way to school. It's only a 10 minute drive, but maybe 10 minutes I can get it up to at least maybe 50 or something. I stood out there, took only like two or three pictures when I wanted to take a whole lot more and uh, left and met um, Nick, my oldest son and his fiance picked up Nick and carried him to school and I met them there. Um, so thank you guys. Uh, they took him there and I met them there and I told my son, you know, he yells at me. He says, I download too much crap and there's all the stuff on my phone. And so he's trying to clean it up. By this time, it had dropped down to 20%. I tried charging it with the charging block, which I also had a cheap Dollar Tree cable on. And I plugged it into the car charger just for like uh, a couple of minutes and it still dropped. It wasn't charging at all. Now the car charger I have is from Walmart. It's one of the lower end ones, but this baby usually works really, really good. It is the connected cable. Um, so I'm pretty sure that it was the Dollar Tree cables because that, I think, is what drained it. I think it thinks it's in use instead of charging. I just think it stopped working. So, my advice to you and to myself is to only buy the Dollar Tree cables for emergency use. I don't mind keeping a couple of Dollar Tree cables and Dollar Tree headphones um, in my purse, in the drawer, in my glove box for emergency use. Like, I wouldn't mind having one in my purse. That way, if I'm at the mall or we're shopping and they got those little ports where you plug your, charge your phones, I've got an extra cable with me always to plug it in. But if they're only working for a certain period of time, a short period of time, and I'm buying and rebuying and buying and rebuying, it's kind of pointless, you know, because the money I'm spending, I could at least go get a lower end you know, one. I can at least get like a $20 charger, a $20 set of headphones. Um, that would be better than constantly buying the $1 one over and over again. So, that's what I need to do. I need to invest up a little bit and learn what to buy and what to stop buying. If I'm continuously rebuying a product because it stops working, then I need to stop buying that product and invest in something a little more expensive that's going to last a little longer so that is my lesson to myself thought I'd share that with you guys but um, yes Nick had his belt ceremony I was able to get a few pictures and a tiny bit of video so I am gonna share that with you guys um, I don't know what else I'm gonna put with this if I have anything else um, we did go to a I don't think I've uploaded this to anything we did also go to a uh, butterfly um, exhibit and I've got some video and pictures of that. Oh, the butterflies were gorgeous. It was so much fun, let me tell you. So I've got some video of that as well and I was gonna put that in a video by itself or something and I don't think I've done anything with it. Everybody is here since this place is closing down, y'all. Um, I don't know what they're gonna put here at all. I, I, I don't have a clue. I hope maybe another thrift store, maybe. Okay, can y'all move? Okay, so I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna close now. Um, if I don't add anything else to this, thank you guys for spending this time with me. I hope you enjoy these clips of my family and us having some fun and things that are going on in our life. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see this and more content, please remember to like and subscribe to this video here and hit that notification bell so you know when we here at Faith Family Fashion upload another video. And I promise I'll see you guys really soon. Have a great day. Bye. Hi, I'm back. I'm sitting here at Nick's school waiting for him to get out. I got about 10 minutes before he will be calling me. Y'all, I didn't get anything done that I wanted to get done. Nothing, nothing, nothing in effect, and it's all my fault. I did go to Sonic. Got a soda that I don't need to be drinking, but anxiety's kind of kicked in, and I got to chill out. When I left you guys, I was going inside the thrift store that is closing down. Everything in the store was 50 cents. So I took my time and I looked through. It's about a quarter of what it normally is. 
I looked through and I looked for everybody that I know to see if I could find something for everybody and I didn't. I only found a handful of items and I'll share those with you in a um, in a haul. Um, I thought about like grabbing a bunch of stuff regardless of whether it was for me or not since it was 50 cents and to see if I could sell it but I think if if I don't know that I will if I ever do um, I think I want it to be customized to things that I like or that I would personally wear um, and I don't want to get just a lot of crap I want certain things and I wasn't in the mood to and I didn't see any of that of course all of that is going to be picked over because they said yesterday was the last day but then today is like clearing it out so um like I said got a handful of items I was kind of glad that it took me a little while to look around maybe about an hour because when I first got there the line was like to the back of the store but when I went up there was only one person in front of me so really easy they didn't have bags so you had to carry your stuff out. So I'm thinking, you know what? I always have a bag in this trunk. Always. Either a reusable bag or a plastic grocery store bag. Something. So that the clothes aren't just piled in the car. Making it look like, you know, I've got my laundry in my car. Let me fold them up and put them in a bag. So that's what I did. I go pop my trunk. Set my purse down. Set my keys on top of my purse. Get Sure enough, I got a plastic Walmart bag. And uh, I fold my clothes and I put them all in there, tie it up, pick up my purse, grab the lid, close the lid, look down, my keys had fallen off of my purse and are in the trunk and boom, lid closes. My keys are in the trunk. I didn't unlock the car doors. I only popped the trunk. Which is something I usually never do. I usually unlock the car before I get up to it. And then I pop the trunk. <sighs> so angry at myself. Do you do that? I get so angry at myself when I do really stupid things like that. You know? Lock my keys in my car. Go the wrong direction. Oh my gosh. I will be on like autopilot and will need to be somewhere. And I like go the direction that I normally go to like go to work or go to next school or something and I end up the wrong direction and I get so angry at myself. So I get so frustrated and angry at myself. So I called my oldest son. Thank you, son and daughter-in-law. They came and rescued me and uh, did the whole coat hanger thing and was able to get it through and to hit the button on the car get me in it did take a little while and some maneuvering and of course you know it's really funny whenever you're trying to it's it's obvious that your keys are locked into your car so women will just kind of glance over see that you're doing it they go on about their business they don't bother you they don't say anything they go on with what they're doing men on the other hand so I've got my oldest son, he's in his 20s, his fiance and me, and we're all standing there. And so my son has, you know, got all sorts of stuff going, you know, trying to get, you know, down here to do this. And he was able to get it through the door. It was just a matter of getting it down here to this lock and getting it strong enough to hit the button. So uh, you get people that just stop and watch. So, you know, and men, men will just stop and like they would just stop and stand there. And not say only a couple of them. One of them said something to us. He was walking into a business. My son goes, I got it. Thank you, though. Another one just stood and stared. What do you do? I mean, do you do you say, oh, I locked my keys in my car. Do you explain what you're doing? I mean, I'm okay with, you know, if you, you know, state the obvious. You're like, oh, man, how awful. You locked your keys in your car? I'm okay if you go, hey, do you need some help? Because, I mean, you never know who is a cop, a fireman, a locksmith, a car repo guy. I locked my keys in my car once when Derek was little. And I was a apartment manager. And we had a courtesy officer on property who was a police officer. And I called him 
And he told me, oh no, I don't have like a Slim Jim or a lock kit. Uh, they don't allow us to do that because it's a liability. And I hear his wife in the background going, you're not going to leave her stranded. We're on our way. So she came up there. She's steadily trying to help me unlock my car. And she goes, look around for somebody that looks like they know how to break into cars. <laughs> I don't know what this person's supposed to look like. But we did have someone then. We did have someone that said that they uh, they had a repo business. that, Or they, they worked for a repo company. He goes, yeah, I work for a repo company, but I got to go into the office. If I can take a break in a few minutes and you're still here, I'll come help you. We got it. My, my now husband showed up and was able to get me into my car um, at the time. But yeah, so I mean, you never know. I Like I said, I'm okay with you saying something to me. The obvious, you know, like, do you like the keys in your car? I'm okay. I'm even okay with that, you know. The stopping and staring. That, you know, I, I feel so awkward. It's kind of like, do I look back? Do I look away? Do I keep looking at my son with what he's doing? You know what I mean? So awkward. A couple guys did that and then this uh, little older couple pulled up and he pulls up and this time I'm on the phone. My phone had rang and it was a call I had to take. So I'm on the phone with someone else and um, he, um, he pulls up and he says something to my son and when I got off the phone I asked him what he say. And he goes, oh, he told me to stop doing this and to call the police because they'll come do it. Now, police will not necessarily, depending on where you live, they will not come unlock your car doors for you. And fire departments will not necessarily come unlock your car doors. It is a liability. Um, your, your best bet is to find somebody to do it for you or to call a, like, pop -a lock you know, a locksmith company. Or have older kids and have them come help you. So, uh, yeah, that was my adventure this afternoon. I'm so thankful that they got me in as I'm sitting here going, oh, I just, I have to get to the school by four. So I'm here. I made it, but I didn't get any. Okay. Sorry. Nick called. He always calls. Soon as the bell rings and he walks out of the classroom, he calls me. Are you there? <laughs> so he's on his way. So let me get off of here. Get my phone charged. It is charging today. Yay, it's not the phone. It's just that uh, cheap Dollar Tree charger. So let me get off here, get him, and let me go do what I need to do. If we do anything fun, find anything great, we'll pop back in. If not, I'm going to show you the clips of everything that we've done lately with the butterflies and the band concert and the karate. And I might even show you some of the beach that I wish I was laying on right now. Have a great day. Thank God for today. It truly is a gift. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
We're in the butterfly place. Yeah, they gave us these little uh, Q-tips. I have two. I beat her. Oh, you sure did. Okay, come on. Okay, friends, I just wanted to pop back on here and say thank you for uh, spending this time with me. You just got through watching some clips of uh, some stuff we did together and uh, family life and our family. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to say thank you for spending this time with me. I have tried to film this for a few moments now and I keep getting phone calls and everything happening. So I'm going to keep this short and I just wanted to say thank you again. I enjoy spending this time with you. Um, I will be doing some more videos this weekend, so I will be back on track and getting some more things up for you. What do you guys think of my shirt? You will see this in a haul. This came brand new from a yard sale, y'all. Um, anyway, I will see you guys really soon. Again, thank you for spending this time with me. Remember to stop and thank God for today because it truly is a gift. I'll see you in the next one. And if no one told you, you're beautiful inside and out. Have a great day, y'all. Bye.
<laughs> I know mine either. How do you do that? How do you do that? No, no, no. No, they're too, it's too delicate. Don't touch. No! Shh! Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Just put it right in front of him where his feelers are, where his feet are. Pick it up. There you go, real still. Real still. 